Welcome back to the Mayor's Update. Well, Mayor, the weather is starting to look nice. I've already seen mm -hmm. lots of boats out on the water, people enjoying the waterfront, and that means all of our summer events are right around the corner. So um, for our viewers who might not be familiar with what an Everett summer entails, what are some of the things we can look forward to? You know, I know I sound like a broken, broken record, but I'll, I'll share it all again. But let me tell you about some new things that are happening. We just uh, recently had a sneak peek at the new farmer's market uh, at Patella Village, Patella Market. Patella Farms, I think. Patella Place. Patella Place. Mm -hmm. And that's a project on Grand Avenue between Hewitt and Wall Street. Uh, a couple hundred uh, apartments above, great views of the sound. Uh, had a chance to go down there and look at an event that uh, uh, helped Housing Hope with uh, some fundraising. But that's going to be a great project. And you can al already begin to see this this vibrancy of young families and pushing strollers and babies and jogging by and walking. And I see them in my neighborhood, you know, four to five times more people than I've ever noticed before. So this sort of walkable, livable community that's been our vision and our dream for so long is really beginning to take place right before our eyes. The other sort of two bookends to this, and this sort of goes into what you're talking about in terms of summer activities, if, you, if you've got uh, riverfront property, uh, some housing begin to, to be built there, the misuse development will occur, so that'll, that'll bookend uh, Everett on the east, and then Waterfront, which is now gone to an update on its comprehensive plan, will be more mixed use, but more uh, recreational opportunities, areas for people to walk and dine and, and go to the bar and have a, have a beer, a glass of wine. Um, so it's really, uh, I think those two developments will really be premier. And then with, in the middle, you've got this emerging downtown. So the activities that we have had and we've been building on for a number of years and we sustain through the recession is obviously soda culture, uh, 4th of July, we've got the music series on the waterfront, uh, and that's a Thursday, set, Thursday night, Saturday night, Sunday. The um, outdoor farmer's market on the waterfront opens this month. So there's just a whole lot of activity, Cin cinema under the stars at Silver Lake, and I, I would encourage viewers to go and look on our website uh, to find those activities, but free activities. We don't charge anything for parking. Uh, the port does charge a modest fee for parking to go to Jetty Island, so that's an, a, an attraction that I, I think sees some 40 to 50,000 visitors every summer. So we're in, in prime time, and uh, to, to see all this really uh, exciting development occur with it. I think uh, it really just feels like it's all coming together. And then the, the music series uh, at, what do they call it, Fisherman's? Fisherman's uh, Village Music right. Festival. Right. Yeah. So Everett's really becoming an emerging music scene that's attracting young people from Seattle and all around the region. And that's really the kind of activity we need to get young professionals here, living here. But, you know, with this population we're seeing growing downtown and that will start filling up these new residential units, those uh, additional restaurants and night spots and music events are just going to, to blossom. And uh, I think we're on the forefront of seeing some really exciting momentum going forward over the next several months and years. So it's a great time to live in Everett and see all of this. And, you know, I, I, looked at, I look out at that waterfront and, and it's so much different than when I was a kid growing up. And we loved the mills and it provided a lot of jobs for people, but it's a, it's a new day. And, and then recently we just got the confirmation that we're getting those three destroyers next year for Naval Station Everett and 
while we anticipated them, you never know until they mm -hmm. announce it. So that's very good news. We'll see Nimitz back after its maintenance cycle. We're re trying to recruit more Coast Guard assets. You know, the purpose in doing all that is not to create more congestion, but it's really to create that economic uh, vitality that makes this community go and gives the city the revenue to provide great services and make sure our citizens are protected. We've got uh, world-class first responders, I'm very proud of the work that our men and women do in law enforcement and the fire service and paramedic. I mean, our paramedic service, they, they always hold Seattle up as sort of the gold standard, but Everett is really the gold standard when it comes to quality health care and survivability of a major event. So uh, that's the foundation we build on, and to see all this exciting uh, transformation occurring in our community, uh, Sometimes it feels like it takes forever to get this stuff going and started, and there's there are a lot of fits, fits and starts. They're just the nature of business. It's certainly the nature of public business, but you just have to stay persistent. You got to stay on this stuff. Every obstacle you got to find a way under or over or around, and I think we've done done a real good job doing that. Okay, there's a lot to look forward to. And oh, as yeah. you said, we've got um, all the city events on our website, and we also have a community events calendar, so community organizations can put up their events as well. So there's a lot of great info there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Mayor, for talking yeah. with us today. And thank you for joining us. We hope you'll be back in June for the next edition of Mayor's Update. <laughs>